in this video I'm gonna show you how to repair an F10 seat pouch uh, this is a 535 F10 2012 model that's my brother's car uh, and I have seen uh, the pouch uh, broken in most of the cars uh, which is uh, more than like five years old uh, and I have used all the uh, screws, normal uh, self thread screws and super glue to fix it. Uh, no much complicated tools required and a cutting blade of course to cut the plastic out. So I will just uh, demonstrate how I did it. So this is the one which I have already removed and repaired. The second one I'll show you how I did it. So these uh, one, two, mm, and the three and four. That's the four which holds the rear part of the seat. I'm just gonna put it back. The lower side first. It's just like a hook and uh, after that the top part which is a push clip. You see there? the lower hooks just put it to the slots and once it's in the position you just push the top part the video has been taken by my six year old son so you have to compromise that so just push it in gently and uh, a little bit of pressure is required when you take the first one out you'll be a little bit uh, concerned after that you will get to know what all are there so you won't be much worried so you can see there the pouch is really nice looking uh, which I have already repaired the second one I'm gonna show you how I did it see there really weird so what you have to do is uh, pull from the top part I'll show you just pull it out the bare hand don't use any tools just pull out gently and take it out you can see here the broken parts mm. so this is the back part and this is the broken hinge so our task is to put it back these are the two springs You have to cut uh, the plastic holding in order to glue the hinge properly. You can use a uh, cutter or a blade to cut it out. This holds the pouch to the rear side of the seat. So just cut it out from the top part. Don't go deep. And pull out the pouch. These plastics are really bad quality. I don't like it. I don't know why BMW designed it like that. Maybe it's just for uh, like three or five years of use. Most of the parts in uh, like the plastic parts are not of high quality it's not intended for uh, long-term use so and the hinges uh, the springs which has been used is of high tension so it it will break after a while of well uh using it for a while so just take it out uh 
you can see here this is the pouch it's really simple you can see the broken part our task is just to glue it to its older position so that's the only holding part uh, no other support so that's the reason it got broken I don't know for how long it will stay uh, after we uh, glue it uh, but we'll see at least if you don't use it that much it will stay for long so I'm gonna apply super glue I bought a big bottle of super glue not the sachet and super glue and sand is a combination that I have used and most of my uh, gluing part I have used super glue and sand which I found more rigid the reinforcement uh, provided by uh, powdered sand is really good this is really thin layer uh, for the primary binding once we put these parts together we will apply more sand and more glue in there be careful don't put uh, more glue in there which will cause it to spread to the leather so make sure you apply little bit uh, at a time hold it for a while so that it uh, is in position once it is in position you can apply more super glue and uh, combine with uh, sand and you have to apply in all four parts not in just one or two sides make sure it is really rigid you don't want to take it out again to fix it so make sure you cover the broken part and a little bit of top and bottom so that it gets enough reinforcement and when you apply the super glue uh, in this area make sure you wear a glass a transparent glass or uh, a cover face shield because uh, there will be fumes and smell coming out uh, when we apply the super glue in these uh, parts like uh, i'm not sure if it is because of the sand and super glue or the plastic but fumes are really intense and it might irritate your eyes and nose and i don't have to tell you about the gloves when you play with the glue for sure it will stick in your skin so Make sure you have uh, gloves. Both sides and inner part. Inner part I have used a small uh, blade to put the sand in. So once fixing is over, just put everything back. The hinges first. Then you have to screw in the pouch because we have uh, removed it by cutting the plastic from the top so in here use the self thread screw and washer I have used whatever was available in my toolbox I did not purchase anything so that's the reason it's not proper but make sure the screw is not lengthy uh, if it is uh, of more length it will penetrate to the leather you don't want to temper the leather so we are just putting the pouch back to the rear part of the seat so put all three in there in both sides three and three so you need like six screws and six uh, 
washes for one seed need a total of 12. So I'm going to put the other four also. When you put it, make sure it is in position and it's tight. Don't over tight, it will break uh, the plastic. Now we're gonna put the springs. For putting the springs, make sure you have a plastic card. Uh, see there, there are two grooves in there to uh, hold the springs in position. So we put the plastic card so that we can push the spring in and uh, pull it to its hinge part uh, or the groove part see here is the holding part of uh, the spring i'll show you see there so we have to make sure it reaches that position you have to use your two thumb fingers to put it into the position and it's of high tension so apply pressure and put it into the position then take out the plastic card after taking out the plastic card you have to use a flathead screwdriver or something flat to uh, put the springs uh, to both grooves properly you can see i've already done it both springs so are in position will be just like this the other one also see there so uh, that's done now you can see uh, how it looks like perfect right just for testing but don't do it um, too much it will break again I don't trust these plastics so this is the final reset I'm gonna install it back in the car if you pull it too much it will break for sure so here is the car I'm gonna put it back I have previously show you how uh, to install it back, but I'm going to show you again. It's difficult to video things without anyone to help you. So you can see that difference in my videos. I know it's not much fun watching this. So love part first. I'm holding camera in one uh, one hand and using the other hand to put it in position. That's why this is the plastic which uh, holds the uh, what do you call the clips in position. You don't want any weird sound coming out when you are driving the car, so you need it there itself so first the lower part then the push clips first the lower hook then after that make sure it's in position the push clips and with both hands you have to push it uh, gently and hard just like this and the other things which I have done in this car is, I'll show you, yeah. The start button, I have ordered it from AliExpress, the AC vents also. We have replaced it uh, by ordering from AliExpress and the door panels, sorry, the what do you call the switch panels. 
and the door handles it has been changed uh, the Android that one also from Aliexpress uh, what else the AC fan button you can see the color difference it has been changed the iDrive nope uh, we upgraded it with a bigger one which is really nice I have been using this for like two years now it's really good I have it in my x5 also